Hello friends, and welcome to The Chillist. Um, today we're starting a new series. Um, it's going to be a little different than stuff I've done before. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a Harry Potter Minecraft adventure map. Um, I've, I've actually never done a Minecraft adventure map. Um, I've played a lot of Minecraft in my day, but it's, uh, just, it's just been like creative mode, or not creative mode, but single player survivor mode and multiplayer survivor mode. So, um, this one, this adventure map looked just really well done. Um, the team that worked on it, they were called, uh, the Flu Network. Um, they, they've been working on this map for years. Um, so I, it just looked really interesting and I thought it'd be a good fit for this series. So, um, we're gonna give this a shot. Um, there are a few things I want to mention before we get into the game though. Um, recently I have, um, completely revamped my discord and honestly in the last week or so like it's really become a community so um if you're new to to me uh k knight is my name um new to my i call this the chillest series um i also stream um i encourage you to check out my discord and uh really join all of my other my friends and fans i guess you can call them i don't like calling them fans but um on my discord um i'll put a link to that in the description um uh yeah there's a couple other things i want to talk about but we will get into it uh in the game I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how long this is going to be. I don't know if this is like a uh, shot for shot, like remake of the whole series, or... Oh no, we've already lost the audio. They say F3 and A. Oh, I don't know. I guess the audio is not super important right now. There we go little winging investigate the letter all right so this doesn't seem to be a little house under the stairs this is not the inventory you are looking for okay in this map you don't need to use the normal minecraft inventory navigate the inventory icon on your Hot par using the mouse wheel. Okay. Okay, how do I open the door then? There we go. I always thought. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Minecraft. Got a bathroom here. So I kind of got a. Yeah, bear with me. If I remember correctly, I thought opening doors was left click, but now it's right click. So I'm not sure, because this, like I said, this is definitely not the, uh, the cupboard under the stairs. I guess maybe we're not playing as Harry. Might be playing as a whole new character, or maybe we get to, like, create our own character, kind of. We were just playing, you know, as quote unquote us, as me. Okay. Sorry, I'm just exploring the house. Let's go ahead and see what that letter says. I have a feeling it's from Hogwarts. Okay. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. Let me try that again. Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> Headmaster Albus 
Dumbledore, Order of Merlin, First Class, Grand. Kind of hard to read this. Uh, wish that they made the the text a little bit bigger. Uh, Chief Warlock, Supreme Mugwump, International Confed of Wizards. Uh, we are pleased to inform you that you have a place at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on 1st September. We await your owl by no later than the 31st of July. Yours sincerely, Professor McGonagall. Okay, controls are definitely different than the, the normal Minecraft. Uh, you've been accepted to Hogwarts. Before you can attend, you need to purchase the required supplies in Diagon Alley in London. Uh, the letter has been added to your inventory. Open it by selecting and pressing Q. Okay, interesting. You can select items with W and S. Okay. That. Uh, press F to inspect. Hogwarts supply list. Hogwarts express ticket. Okay. Right. The letter from no one. Awesome. Search the area for a way to get to London. That's gonna take me a while to get used to. It. Okay. So I'm gonna guess we need to take the the flu so we need to um probably find our chimney i just want to take a quick look around this is very well done this does look like a uh you know an english neighborhood oh there's the bus i'm sure we'll be hopping on that at some point Maybe that is it. Maybe we're taking the bus. We can travel to London by using the night bus. Ah, there we go. Should we go ahead and do it? Let's do it. Hmm. Welcome to the night bus. Emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. My name is Stan Shunpike. I will be your conductor this evening. Okay. Hmm. Where are you heading? Whereabouts are you heading? I'm headed to Diagon Alley. That's in London. What's the night bus? Why is it called the night bus? Hmm. What are you bloody well asking me for? It's a bus, isn't it? A night bus, mostly. And I suppose we sort of come and rescue them what needs rescuing. Like a knight or something. I didn't name the thing now, did I? Hmm. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Diagon Alley. That's in London. Hear that? Ah. I'll drop you off in London outside the Leaky Cauldron. That's a popular wizarding pub. Entrance to Diagon Alley is in the back. Hmm. Thanks, friend. Um. Should we do a little more exploring here first? Hmm. Kind of do want to do a little more exploring here. Oh. Like, I have a feeling there's probably more in our house. And like I was saying, it's... These guys obviously worked very hard. I'm sure gals too, guys and gals, worked very hard on this. So I just kind of... to appreciate the work that they've put into it. You know, you never know. There might be... Might be some extra inventory piece or something. Something else extra we could pick up. Especially back at our house. Um, one of the other things I did want to talk about um, were uh, 
So my friends and I have been doing a podcast for the last couple of months. Um, we don't have like a, a set schedule, but we've been watching uh, different TV shows and playing different games. Um, talked about it a little bit before, um, but uh, the, it kind of started out um, kind of as an unintentional podcast um my friends and i uh, my friends jorgs and fletcher uh we were we uh we, we played final fantasy 7 remake we're big final fantasy fans um so when um i have a feeling because i like i clicked on that i have a feeling that's like a chest that they just reskinned or something I don't know. Um, but when we played Final Fantasy VII Remake, like, I became almost obsessed with it. Because we were big Final Fantasy fans to begin with, and, you know, this is, I mean, it was it was a big deal for me, and, and my friend Fletcher, really. Oh. Sorry about that. Um... Nothing, nothing here, but... It, again, it's just, it's very well done. This is cool. Um, but we, uh, we kind of just did a recording on it. And um, just to, because we kind of needed to, to just talk about it. Because I became obsessed with it. And like, I, I spent every waking moment, every free moment I had, either like playing it or listening to other people talk about it. Um, like podcasts talk about it or watching YouTubers talk about it and and I, you know, getting on Reddit and talking with people about it and YouTube comments and, you know, the whole shebang. It honestly became an obsession um, for, for like a couple of months. Um, so we decided to kind of do our own YouTube video about it, mm. um, which kind of became our podcast. Um, our latest thing that we're recording now is um, Avatar, The Last Airbender, and we're doing it season by season. So we did the, f we've already done the first two seasons, and we're going to record the third and final season, um, I think next weekend. Um, but I, I mention all this because um, our podcast is like actually a podcast now. It was just, I was just doing YouTube videos. Mm. Um, but now there, it's on like a lot of major podcasting apps and stuff. The Geek Cauldron is right behind you. Mm. Um, I've got my list here. It's on like Spotify and um, let me see, Anchor. Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and Mixcloud. I'm working on getting it on iTunes. Apparently, that's like it. iTunes always takes a long time, um, but I have submitted it, and hopefully, it will be accepted soon. So. Um, I just uh, encourage you guys to check it out. Um, of course, any feedback is always welcome, and I hope you guys just enjoy it. I don't normally talk like this much business, you know, but it's just I've been very busy the last couple weeks. Hmm. Hello there. I'm the innkeeper, Tom. Hmm. What have you got for sale? Hmm. Apple, butterbeer, but we have no money. Okay. Hmm. I have a question. Hmm. Tell me about the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. The Leaky Cauldron is a popular wizarding pub and inn located here in London. It is also the entrance to Diagon Alley and thus indirectly Nocturne Alley. The rear of the pub opens up into onto a chilly courtyard that contains the entrance to both alleyways. Huh. Hmm. Who built this pub? The pub was built by Daisy Dotteridge, 
the first landlady in the early 1500s to serve as a gateway between the non-wizarding world and Diagon Alley. Some people argue that the oldest pub in London is the White Hart on Drury Lane. Others that it's the angel on Bermondsey Wall or the lamb and flag on Rose Street. I have actually been to the Lamb and Flag on Rose Street because that, that is the one we always I always heard was the oldest. And a couple of years ago, my family went to London. And that was like the one place I wanted to go. Like we each kind of... Hmm. Like the one thing we wanted to do. And then we, there was the stuff we all wanted to do. But that was the one thing that I was like, yep, this is the one thing we have to do. Uh, all of these people are muggles and all of them are wrong. The oldest pub in London, as any wizard will tell you, is the Leaky Cauldron on Charing Cross Road. Hmm. How come muggles don't know about the pub? Hmm. Muggles, the pub appears to be a broken down old shop front on Charing Cross Road. This, however, was not the case prior to the imposition, imposition of the Statute of Secretary. And, in fact, prior to this, muggle visitors were neither turned away nor made to feel uncom unwelcome. Hmm. Let's ask hmm. about Diagon Alley. Hmm. Uh, actually. Hmm. Let's just get on with it. Can you tell me how I get to Diagon hmm. Alley? There's an entrance out back. A small walled courtyard with a dustbin. You can get to Diagon Alley by tapping the correct brick in the wall. You can probably find someone there to help you with that. Hmm. I think it'll be Hagrid. I hope it's Hagrid. Hmm. Okay, so... I think... Sorry about all the lag. It's just a lot of times that's kind of what you get with Minecraft adventure maps. I, even though I said it, I've never played one myself, I've seen a lot of other people play them. And I've, I've got a pretty decent computer, but it's not as powerful as a lot of people's. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, what was it? F, F3 and A? Go. Oh, that's cool. That helps a little bit. Just kind of reload everything. Westminster. Come back. You've wandered too far. Just, I want to see everything that these guys have done. I mean, this is. <laughs> okay. It's impressive what they've done. Alright, I guess we won't wander too far. The game clearly doesn't want us to. Alright, let's head out back at the Leaky Cauldron then. I mean, I can't even imagine just the amount of work they put on just, just this building. Just the Leaky Cauldron. I'm not sure how many people it was. Hello, friend. Can we talk to these guys? Hmm. Stopping for a drink or just passing through? Huh. Sounds like something snoring. That guy sleeping? I think he's head. You too many butter beers. <laughs> the broom. Wow. I have no idea how any of this works. Oh, uh, it's pouring magical tea. That's so cool. Like this, I just had to take some major programming skills to be able to do this. Because I think this is, this is more than just some redstone contraptions. Uh, oh yeah, that was Hagrid. Okay, just gonna look upstairs real quick. I have also been to uh, 
the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at uh, Universal Studios. That was that was very cool. Mm-hmm. We always stay at the Leaky Cauldron whenever we visit London. Mm -hmm. Nice, I got rooms and everything. Very well done. That's massive. Okay, so we'll have to learn the charm to open that door. So I'm sure we'll be coming back here at some point then. Oh, the bathrooms. I can't read these letters or anything. Like honestly though, just exploring this world is a reward in and of itself. Another floor. How big is this thing? Okay, I don't think that's actual doors. Okay. So I'm kind of learning the different skins on the doors, the different how they look. You, yeah, these ones you can't actually open. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Hagrid. I don't see any kind of like health bar or like hunger bar like you normally have in Minecraft. So I wonder if it's going to work differently. Hello, Agrid. Hmm. Hello, Lair. Looking to get to Diagonally? Yes, I need to pick up my school supplies. Mm -hmm. Ah, new Hogwarts student. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rubius Hagrid, Keeper of Keys and Grounds at Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. Diagonally is right behind that wall, you see. All you have to do in order to open it is tap that brick layer. Perfectly easy. Mm -hmm. When you enter, you should go to Gringotts Wizarding Bank and some of that muggle money exchange into our wizarding currency. Sorry, I'm terrible at accents. Ain't no safer place, not one, except perhaps Hogwarts, run by goblins. Speak to Griphook, he'll help you. Well, good luck. See you at Hogwarts. Mm. Thanks for the help. All right, which brick? Are we supposed to be tapping here? Ah. Here you go. Oh wow. <laughs> that is incredible. How did they do that? I have no idea how they managed to pull that off. That is so cool. This is Diagon Alley. Here you can purchase supplies and solve quests for the shop owners. Flourish and blots. Madam Met Mathens, what was that? Ollivanders, I'm sure we're gonna be going there. That must be Gringotts, yeah. You can get money for your school supplies in Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Located at the end of the street or something, at the end of the alley. I was paying attention to the uh, surroundings, not the words. It's worth exploring the world around you. Chests and collectibles can be found all over the world. Press L to view more tips. I see. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, let's, uh, Ministry Press, let's take their advice and do some exploring. Hmm. We're very busy here. 
visit the Ministry of Magic and talk to someone there if you want anything. Huh. Go bother somebody else. All right, you stuffy businessman. Okay. I'm sure at some point we're going to be able to use... We're going to be able to travel by blue powder. Just all the different textures on everything. I mean... Just the chandeliers. That's cool. I mean, I like I like that texture, like on the the like tile. That's cool. Go upstairs. I guess that's not a door. I don't know if we took any damage or what. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, I just gotta close the door behind you, or else the creepers might get in. I don't think there's gonna be any creepers here. Hello. Hmm. Roderick Price. Welcome. Secondhand books because you don't want the very best. You want cheap. And we've got cheap. Huh. Feel free to look around. The spines are already bent and the pages are already ripped or torn out. But that doesn't matter. You and I both know it's the words that are important. And those are all there. Well, most of them. Yeah, how can all the words be there if... Hmm. Pages have been torn out. Um, tell me what books you sell. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't have any money. Maybe we should just go ahead and, uh, head to, oh, come on. Oh, no. How do I? How do I leave this menu? Hmm. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's try reloading it again. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and head to Green Guts and then we'll do some more exploring after that. Will it and Tino's magical menagerie? Oh she's got a Nimbus two thousand. Hello. Hmm. Look, it's the firebolt, the fastest broom in the world. Hmm. Oh, going straight for the firebolt. Okay. I don't know if this is. I don't know where this, or I guess when this is supposed to take place. Maybe this is after all the uh, events of the Harry Potter books. Although it did say Dumbledore invited us, so. Oh my god, I just, I could, I could spend hours here exploring everything. It is probably best I'm, <laughs> I decided to just head to Green Guts. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I just stop and talk to everybody and look at every building and go down every alley. 
Enter stranger, but take heed of what awaits the sin of greed. For the, you get out the way. For those who take but do not earn must pay most deeply in their turn. So if you seek beneath our floors a treasure that was never yours, thief, you have been warned. Beware of finding more than treasure there. Hmm. Say Gringotts is the safest place on earth. Certainly not the friendliest. Hmm. Speak to the goblin grip hook. <laughs> They're so cute. These look like, uh, I'm sure they're just like baby zombies reskinned and re worked. I don't know. Maybe they're like baby villagers or something. I don't know. You can't trust wizards with gold, they don't respect it. I have to adjust for a second. Okay. Is this him? He's got the big exclamation point above his head. I'm guessing that's him. Hmm. Grip hook, yep. Can you hmm. help me? I need money for my school supplies. Hmm. Sure. Tell me about Green hmm. Guts. Green Guts Wizarding Bank is the only bank of the wizarding world and is owned and operated by goblins. In addition to storing money and valuables for wizards and witches, one can go there to exchange muggle money for wizarding money. The motto of Gringotts Wizarding Bank is Fortuitus Quo Fidelis. A Latin phrase that means strength through loyalty. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. How do you think this might come about? I would like to exchange this into your currency. Hmm. I see here you have 250 gold. That should be enough for your supplies. I'll go. Hmm. All right. Or just say wand, school books, and robes. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I'm gonna hop up on your desk. If we can go down into the vault, I doubt it. Oh, well, maybe we can. Okay, now we gotta check it out. This really is the safest place in in all the land. Shouldn't be able to just walk right in, right? Break? Is this place just falling apart? F to pull chain. Okay, so I brought up a yeah, there's like bolts on the wall, I guess. Here we go. Oh, dang it. There we go. Is it gonna? Yeah, maybe not. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. Maybe we should come back and do this later. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Alright, let's uh let's head to Ollivander's. I'll queue to open up our Okay. Yeah, no, that's good though. Still getting used to these controls. They're so different from normal Minecraft controls. I like your bank. See you later. Okay. Ollivander's right here. Hello. Hmm. I'm 
here to purchase a wand. Hmm. You need a wand? Well, of course. We might have to try a few before we find one for you. You see, those of us who studied wand lore know that the wand chooses the wizard. It's just not always clear as to why. You see, the best results always come when there is the strongest affinity between the wizard and the wand. Hmm. Put aside a few wands I think might be suitable here in the shop. Can you find those for me? I need to look for three green wand boxes. Hmm. All right. Oh, so looks like one right here. Uh, I have to collect. Okay. Hope, uh, hope we can play wizard's chest at some point. Wizard's chest. Looks like another one. Don't want to... Oh, they are actually moving. I didn't realize that before. Are all of them? They are all moving just a little bit. Oh my god, how, I did not even see that before. That is awesome. Wow. Just the detail. That is incredible. Can't go in there. Oh, I see it. Wow, I have, how would they even do that? I have the wand hmm. boxes. Wonderful. You see, every Ollivander wand has a core of a magical, a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heartstrings of dragons. No two Ollivander wands are the same, just as no two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. Of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Hmm. Well, here we are. Try this, perhaps. A wand of birch, 15 inches, flexible and swishy with unicorn hair. Core. No, I reckon not. Well, perhaps this. A wand of ivy, 13 inches, flexible with dragon heartstring. No, no, definitely not. No matter. Hmm. hmm. I wonder. Yes, of course. Hmm. A wand of rowan, soft and pliable, with a phoenix tail feather core. Ah, a perfect fit. Go on, give it away. Hmm. All right. Can I can I use my wand? Ah, here we go. Cast spell. Double click. Oh. Very cool. Nice. Just says cast spell. I don't know what spell we're casting here. We did find some extra gold just for exploring, so I like that. Oh wow. You can create light with the charm Lumos. I don't think I know that charm yet. Uh oh, now I'm stuck. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. Change current spell. Okay, Q. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we know any spells yet. Ooh, I don't think you can when you just got your wand. 
Okay, next flourishing blots. Alright, let's do some more exploring now, since I feel like we've got the time to do it. Hello. Hmm. Samwise Wiseacre. Hello, my young friend. Welcome to Wiseacre's Wizarding Equipment. I am the owner and proprietor of this shop. I have something to sell you? Hmm. Um, I think we're going to hold on to all this stuff. I don't huh. think we want to sell them anything. Goodbye. Cottages, cauldron shop, new and used. Oh, I'm gonna take your gold. See ya. No, I'm just kidding. Hello. Hmm. Welcome to Pottage's Cauldron Shop. You may call me Madam Pottage. Feel free to look around. If you don't see what you want, please ask. What is that across the street? Mm -hmm. Next to Scribulous Writing Equipment? That there would be Nocturne Alley. No, I would stay away from there if I were you. Dangerous folk down that way. Mm -hmm. Tell me about mm -hmm. your shop. Your shop has been here for a long time. I must have been selling cauldrons for 30 years now, and I expect I'll last another 10 or so. I've equipped many a Hogwarts student with their first potion brewing class. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's a lot of cauldrons. Okay. White Sakers wearing equipment. That's where it just was. All of Anders. I just want to see everything. Scribulous. Okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Scribulous Writing Implements. You can get your school supplies here quills, ink, and parchment. Mm -hmm. Show me what you have for sale parchment, anti cheating quill, spell checking quill. Quick quotes quill. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Should we ask her? Let's see what she has to say mm -hmm. about her shop. We sell parchment ink quills. We get a lot of bus business around school start at Hogwarts when all the students are buying their supplies. But that eerie looking entrance to Nocturne Alley next door scares a lot of the younger students away, making it diff difficult to compete with. Amanusis quills. Uh, it really is all about location. Mm -hmm. Location, location, location. Mm -hmm. Alright. Slug and Jigger's Apothecary. Hello, friend. Mm -hmm. I need to visit Greenleaf. A gnarl destroyed my whole garden after I tried to feed it. Just as I had gotten rid of the garden gnome infestation. Mm. Wait a minute, ice cream parlor. Can we actually go in and get some ice cream? Hmm. Hello. Good day, Florian Fortescue. Yes, that's right, like Dexter Fortescue. And this is my ice cream parlor. Hmm. Dexter Fortescue? Why, yes. Don't you know him? He was headmaster of Hogwarts when he was alive. You seem excited by him. Hmm. I am excited by history. I know all about medieval wizards and ancient magic. That sort of thing. Top of the class in history of magic in my time at Hogwarts. Taught by Professor Binns. Of course, he was alive then. Ghost now, I believe. Hmm. Show me what you have for hmm. sale. Apple. Pretty bots every flavor. Beans. Chocolate frog. Pumpkin pie. Okay. I don't know what all we need money for. Oh, we can't purchase the stuff yet. 
No, I really wanted to buy some beans and a frog. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, thank you, friend. We will be back to buy some some goodies later. I promise you that. Let's just take us back to Nocturne Alley. Hmm. Seems like it. Any ice cream down here I can take? Nah. Some apples. Surprised he doesn't have a pumpkin down there for his pumpkin pie. Alright. Well. Wow. That is so cool. Again, I have no idea how they managed to do all this. Mm. What? I'm just looking. It's not like I need those potions. Mm. Beautifying potions. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Okay. Let's um. Let's go ahead and finish out getting our school list. Second hand robes. I think we'll have to end up there eventually. Come on. Might have to reload here in a second. Or refresh. Let's just go ahead and refresh. I don't know if it wants to cooperate. There we go. All right, so we saw flourish and bots blots down here by the door, by the entrance to Diagon Alley. Wasn't it down here? Maybe not. Might have walked right by it and missed it. Seems like it would be on that main drag. This kind of seems like the, the back alleys here. Brews and stews, owl post, general store. Ah, oh, here we go, flourish and blots. Hmm. Welcome to Flourish and Blots. How can I help you? I need to purchase my school hmm. books. I've got them right here. Purchase hmm. Hogwarts books. A uh, fantastic beast and where to find them. Okay. Yes. Standard book of spells. Okay. Advanced potion making. Well, basic potion making. The Dark Forces Guide to Self-Protection by Quentin Trimble Guide to Transfiguration A Beginner's Guide Alright uh, It doesn't seem like we need to buy this Tales of Beetle the Bard Hmm all right, goodbye. Thank you, Booker Blotts. Oh. Okay, next I'm guessing is to buy our robe. Madam Malkin's robes for all occasions. Sorry about all the lag. Try this again. Okay. Our 
Pledgy. Um, I know we saw it. Was it back here? No. Right, okay. Adam Elkins. Wonder if it was that place that said secondhand robes. Is this it? Mm. Selling things you don't need to vendors and drunk shops like this is a great way to earn a few galleons. Huh. I don't think this is it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Diagon Alley's finest assortment of general merchandise. What can I do for you? Mm. Remember all. Oh, nice. Silver mug, silverware, silver candlestick, crystal ball. Hmm. Do not need any of that right now. Yeah, this is the other quill place. Ooh, that looks like a candy store. That, uh, oh yeah, this is the place with, I don't remember the name of this place. I remember them going here in the movies. I'll be honest with you, I never actually read the books, I just saw the movies. My my younger brother is actually a much bigger Harry Potter fan than I am. He, much as I I do I do like the movies and the world and hmm. Uh, step up, step up. We've got dung bombs, fireworks, skiving snack boxes, just in time for school. Welcome to Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Right. So this is hmm. owned by the Weasleys. We will be back later. Hmm. We need to buy a robe. Come on. Okay, books beautifying. Second hand brooms. Elixirs, ice cream store. I don't think it was down here. Maybe it was down one of the side alleys. Oh, this looks promising. Pier boat. Locksmith. Hmm. Oh, the Daily Prophet. Quality, style, ease, value, variety. Is this it? I, you could use all of those adjectives to describe robes. Yeah, doesn't look like this is it though. I don't know what happened here, but it doesn't look good. Is that a snitch in there? There's a snitch in there. What are you doing, you silly snitch? Don't think it'd be down Nocturne Alley. Hmm. 
You know, this really does like remind me of some of the just the narrow back alleyways of some of the places I went when I was in London. What is this place? But like, it is really cool how, you know, you find these tiny little alleyways and they'll be just like the coolest little pub down them, you know? I mean, some of these buildings are so old and, you know, they don't bother tearing them down and rebuilding them. They just continue to use them and, you know, maybe repurpose them a little bit, but... No, oh, I just noticed where it says locate Madame Malkin's robes in the bottom left. There's actually an arrow pointing us where we need to go. Okay, I think we need to reload it again. Here we go. Oh. Oh, I see. There we go. I walked by it. <laughs> At least three times. Hello, Madam Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Mad Madam Malcolm's Robes for All Occasions. How can I help you? I need to purchase mm -hmm. my school uniform. Ah, Hogwarts. I've got the lot here. There's a young man being fitted in the back room just now. In fact, your robes will be magically colored in the colors of your house after you are sorted. Mm -hmm. Got your robes here. You can equip them by inspecting them in your inventory and selecting equip. Mm -hmm. Alright. House robe. House scarf. Oh, I see. I either I could either purchase a scarf or a hat. I went with the scarf. I'm glad I went with the scarf. Uh, trousers with a belt or suspenders? Oh man. Let's go with suspenders. Alright, is that it? And there's so much here. Okay, um. Mm -hmm. I've got your robes here. You can equip them by. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Inventory. What was that? There we go. Okay. Is that how I equip it? Is it equipped? Oh, here we go. Equip. And equip. All right. Can I, can I see myself? I know there's a keystroke to be able to see yourself, but I nah, forget. Equip the school robes. Did I not? I thought I did. Yeah, no, it's equipped. Okay. Oh, the pants. Do I need to put on the pants as well? I guess I didn't see them. I know I'm running around here without any pants on. Trousers, here we go. Alright. Press shift too many times. <laughs> okay. Next quest, platform nine and three quarters. Exit Diagon Alley. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it here for now. 
Um, this is a, it's a very cool map. It's a bit laggy. Um, I don't know what I can do to fix that. I will try to fix that for next week. Um, cause it's not using up a bunch of like my computing power or anything. So I don't know if it's just the map or if there's something I can do about it. I'm not sure. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will be back next week with more of this. More, um, we might do some more exploring here in Diagon Alley before we go uh, to platform nine and three quarters. Um, but uh, we'll just have to see how I feel next week. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.